Hi, my name is Chris Booth, and we're just doing a short video to show you some of the new features we've got in Context version 7. Primarily, we're going to be focusing on sub bubbles and the new chord diagram. We'll start off looking at our sub bubbles. So, the first thing you might notice is that our internet history activity has been greatly reduced. Uh, we've had quite a number of hits in some of the previous versions, and we've refined some of our queries behind this um, to make things more interesting uh, to the user. So if I right click on here and go to analyze, bubbles and sub bubbles, now I can start to really get into my data. And again, I haven't had to run much refining queries or anything else like that. It's all been done for me. So now I can see what's been going on in my activity. I know there's been webmail uh, access and there's also been some cloud storage access. So already without even having to look at the data, I have a sense of feel for what this user has been doing and whether they maybe they weren't supposed to have webmail access at all or cloud storage. So it's already helping me out massively con compared to the old version. If I'm really interested in, say, uh, local file access, I want to have a look at Excel documents or Word documents or anything else that's been run on the system, I can expand out my bubble. And I only have a look at those 64. And right now, I've got it displaying in a timeline. So let's take a look at sub-bubbles using an uh, investigative process. Um, I want to have a look at my prefetch files in this case. Um, so I've opened up my file access activity bubble. I don't want to see all that engine 52 results mixed together. I just want to have a look at my prefetch files. I haven't had to import these from Workbench. They're already in here. Now, what I prefer to do for me is to show them in a new context window. So now I'm looking at my prefetch files. and We'll just make my analysis table a bit bigger. And let's have a quick look down here and see what's going on. So straight away, uh, out of my events, I can see there's an actual spy executable here that's really taken my interest. Um, it looks pretty dodgy to me. So if I right click on this and do a pivot and do a 30 second pivot, what can I see? Well, I can see everything that's happened around that time. So I've got an Excel document that could be really interesting to me. And we're already highlighting some of the key things here, like settings.executable and uh, this unis000.executable. And all this has come to me uh, really quickly by just a few clicks of a button. Um, and I can see that we've got associations with spyware. And that's all come from having to look at my sub bubbles rather than having to look at a lot of data in one place. So now we've had a look at sub bubbles, let's move on to our chord diagram. Now our chord diagram is actually going to show us the uh, relationship between bubbles and having a look about which data is duplicated in bubbles and how they relate to each other as well. So we'll go over to my view here and have a look at my bubbles. We'll just turn this off. So now we can see uh, all of my bubbles here and how they relate to each other. Um, for instance, I can have a look at my notable file events and here are all my sub bubbles once again, uh, but in a slightly different way. And I can have a look to see how they're related to each other. So we've got operating system events that are coming to my local log file events. If I want to maybe have a look at this from an investigative point of view, um, let's have a look at my notable files and I'm interested in malware in my investigation. So clicking on this automatically shows me that there is a link to key entities and also something to do with new files. So the new files bubble is looking at files that have been newly created on the system. It's pivoting around a month or so and only looking in specific directories and looking at specific file types uh, that we have deemed relevant for an investigator. If I have a look now, I've got the two highlighted, I can see there's other connections to other bubbles as well. But I'm only interested in to see what the connection is between these two. So I'll go to my selected, and I can either look at the intersect, which is the specific relationship between the two, or I can have a look at both of these bubbles together in union. I want to do the intersect. And I also want to put this in a new context window. So I've only got two results, um, which is pretty good. Uh, I think sometimes less is better. Uh, what are these DLLs showing me? Well, if I have a look up here at a CSP monitor, um, I know that's part of the spyware uh, sweep and, uh, that we looked at earlier when we were looking at sub bubbles. Um, but I want to cement this to make sure that my knowledge is correct. So if I go to pivots and go around 30 seconds, I'm seeing many of the same files as I saw before while we're doing our sub-bubble analysis. 
And this is further cemented by having a look at the AS monitor, actual spy, and the settings.executable. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos on version 7 when you can.